The drama happens right now on Mari. Misty's furious that John denies her two kids. I don't feed these kids, I don't change their diapers, and I don't play with them. And John's own mother is here disgusted with her son, and she's brought her belt. I beat you once, I'll beat you again. I'm sure, I'm sure, man. She's gonna take the strap to him. His mother may have the belt, but I have the DNA results. John, John. Delon just found out the secret that his three-year-old son's real father may be another man. Everything that young man is, is because of me. He's respectful, three years old. He knows how to say, excuse me, but it's only because of me. I think that's Delon's job. I don't know, I am so sorry. Why don't we get the answer? Will this DNA test mend his heart or shatter it completely? Delon? And more paternity results you won't believe. Frank has heard rumors that Brandy had sex with 18 different guys. <laughs> he's the father of that child? Yes. Frank, <laughs> he's positive he's not the father because their sexual encounter lasted 90 seconds. Maury, tell him that he is the father. Tim, you. Oh, my God. <laughs> How <are> you <laughs> Shocking DNA results next. Now, imagine this. Every day, you're being told you're a liar and a cheater. Now, for Misty, that's her life. Misty is determined to prove to her boyfriend, John, that she never cheated on him. And to make matters worse, John also denies her two kids, two-and-a-half-year-old Tristan and one-and-a-half-year-old Anthony. Now, see, here's the other player in this. John's own mother, Rhoda, is here, and she's, and she's disgusted by her son's accusations right. against Miss. That's right! I'm tired This is what John... I'm tired! Misty is a cheating, backstabbing slut, and I know her two kids are not much. Not only has Misty manipulated me, but she's manipulated my mother, and it makes me pissed off. I've heard several rumors that Misty's had sex with more than one of my friends. How can she lie and pin these kids on me when she was sleeping around town? I don't feed these kids, I don't change their diapers, and I don't play with them. I refuse to take care of Misty's illegitimate children. If the test results prove that I am the father, I will be a man and bow down and apologize. Okay, so. We've given, of course, everybody a paternity test for the two kids. And then, of course, Misty took the lie detector test. So we're going to find that out. Are you all together? Yes. You love him. With all he my accuses heart. you of doing all this stuff. He denies these kids. By the way, is he a good father to these kids? No. No? Those are not mine. Those They're not are mine. your kids! Those are your kids! Okay. You ever cheated on him? Nope. Never have. Ever. Took the lie detector test. Took, I, it was my idea. You're I, mean, I, can't, I flew. I haven't had no sleep in like two All days. Right. I had nothing we'll to eat. We'll see who's lying. I came we'll out. see who's lying. I beat you once. I'll beat you again. No, shut up. I'll beat you shut again. Up. Shut up, man. She's gonna take the strap to him. She's a liar. She's a cheater. I've had enough of this. That's right. She's a liar. She's a cheater. Bring, him out. John. Bring out John right now. Here he is. John, you're with this woman, right? Right. Do you love her? I got love for her, but it's kind of just falling apart. I mean, they're not mine. I know she's a cheater. She's a liar. I'm just, no, I'm done. Has she cheated on you? You know what? She I ever found admitted, a number. To, she ever found, admitted to cheating on you? No, but I found numbers. I found a number. Right. Plus, you know, I changed my phone number. In your imagination. Still, she was talking to one of my In friends. your imagination. She was still talking to one of my friends. And I changed my number. I raised you better than that. She's an awesome lady. She's awesome. She does more help than he does. I love her. 
Mexicans, we're Mexicans. We're Mexicans. We're Mexicans. We take care of ours. Okay, so John's mother wrote, now I want you to know something. Even with all of this energy that she has, and even all this emotion that she has, yeah. she has been battling cancer for a long time. Aww. But she's here to stand up for Misty and to show her son that he's the father of her grandchildren. Here's Rose. Love those kids. I love my son. Love your kids. I love my son. I love, love my grandkids. grandkids. I love everybody. But you love your son and you're in his face like that? Because, you know what? Because these are my babies. Because these are my babies. These are my babies. That's why. And he's going to raise them like he should. Are you surprised at him? I I'm totally surprised at him, Maury. I've been a single parent. I raised my kids by myself. I never raised my children to do stuff like this. Never. We're gonna find out right now. <laughs> so first we're gonna have the results of the paternity test and then we're gonna have the lie detector results, okay? That's fine. When it comes to two-year-old Tristan, John, you are the father. <laughs> When it comes to when it comes to one-year-old Anthony, John, you are the father. Kiss her feet. 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 Here are the results of the lie detector test. Bring it. That's right. You were asked if you've had sex with any of John's friends during your relationship with him. You said no. The lie detector determined you were telling the truth. You were asked if you had sex with your neighbor during your relationship with John. You said no. The lie detector determined you were telling the truth. You were asked if you had sexual contact with, of any kind with anyone other than John during your relationship. You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. We'll be back you right after this. this. Thank you. You need to show me your story. I don't, words are easy. You gonna start changing pampers? Yeah. You gonna start having babies? Yeah. Giving baths? You start making no, bottles? I'll do everything. Never I'll call do me everything. a name again. I'll do Never. I That's promise. all I want. I want. Thank you, Jesus. I'll do everything for him. Everything. Listen out. Listen out. Listen out. Delon just found out the secret that his three-year-old son's real father may be another man. Everything that young man is is because of me. You think that's Delon's job? I don't know. So sorry. Why don't we get the answer? Will this DNA test mend his heart or shatter it completely? Delon? Frank has heard rumors that Brandy had sex with 18 different guys. <laughs> He's the father of that child? Yes. Frank? <laughs> Now imagine everybody having a child who was born on your birthday, giving that child your name, then dedicating your life to being the best father you can be, and then imagine having it all taken away. You see, that's the painful reality for Delon. Delon's fiance Sparkle broke his heart two months ago when she confessed that she cheated around the time she got pregnant and he might not be the father of her three-year-old son, Delon. 
Watch this, everybody. Two months ago, my fiance Sparkle told me that our three-year-old child might not be mine. It devastated me. It felt like my son was taken away from me. Everything that young man is, is because of me. He jokes like me. He walks like me. He was born on my birthday. He has my name. I know that little boy better than I know his mother. I need him to breathe. This purple lied to me for three years. I feel betrayed. She took something from me that I could never get back. I need to find out where I actually stand in Delon's life and what might hold for me and Spark on the future. I've been taken for a ride that I didn't ask to be on. You want to get off this ride? Yeah, I just want to get away from the pain of it. Are you all together? Yeah, we are. You are? Yeah. I love to love her more than I love to be mad at her. Wow. So you're able to forgive? Yes, I am. You are? Yes, what I happens am. if it's not your child? I'm still going to love that little boy. You got to be a star. I am the father. You, you are the father. I don't, I don't have to, you don't have to wait for me to read it. You are. Biologically, if he's not mine, he is everything of me. Oh. I'll put that in here. Does that look like him? No, he doesn't. But, you know, kids only do what they're shown and taught. And after a while of interacting with a child so long, they start to pick up things oh, of you. You see anything in him of you? Yeah, the things I put in him. He's respectful, three years old. He knows how to say, excuse me. He knows how to interrupt a conversation. He knows how to say, I'm sorry. He knows when and when not to do things. But it's only because of me. So, I'm worried about if it comes down bad, that you will change your relationship with that little boy? No. No? I'm a man. Love him. How about, how about you changing your relationship with Sparkle? Only thing it changes with me and Sparkle, and this has been since day one, is a trust issue. Just like I said. I love her more. I love to love her more than I love to be mad at her. And everybody has issues. Let's meet her. Here she is, Sparkle. Sparkle, come on. Hey, Sparkle, you know, my audience, you know what they've heard, and they're a little upset at you. You can understand that? Yes. Have you, uh, Stopped beating yourself up. No, I go through this every day. I've watched your show and I've heard girls say that this eats away at them. That is true. It does. I thought after I told him that it would be better, it would relieve something, it right. didn't. A lot of people would say, you know, the worst part about it is that you kept it for three years. And I took away his right to be mad or to not be mad. I didn't give him that choice. I took that away. What's it been like since you've told Delon? It's been rocky. Rocky? Yeah. You think that's Delon's job? I want it to be so bad. I don't know. There's a lot of pain there, Delon. There's a lot of pain in both of you. You know, and, I, and I'm just saying that I think maybe the only way to handle each other's pain is to lean on each other and, and just understand what each other's going through. I understand. Because it's, it, you know, it, she, she's hurting as much as you for her own mistakes. Why don't we get the answer? Because you told me you're going to be the father no matter what. You want to say anything to him before I read this answer? You want to say anything to him? I'm sorry. I took that right away from you. I messed up two people that love me for no reason at all. For no reason at all. And I'm sorry for that. 
when it comes to three-year-old Delon. Delon, you are not. <laughs> to know that that's your child. That's your child. That's your child. Okay. I want you to go see Sparkle. Come on. Come on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If there's anything I can do, okay, then you take some time. It's a very emotional time for you. I want you to meet with my counselor, Stephen. I want you to I, I want you to get all of the options that you possibly can so you can think clearly about this. But that's your little boy, you know that. What I love. You know that. You know that. You are not. <laughs> you won't believe what Delon did after the show. Veronica is furious that Mike's mother, Sheila. She called for a DNA test while she was babysitting. That's right. I have grandma's intuition. What is grandma's intuition? I don't feel a connection with this baby. Maybe if you had been a better mother to him, he'd have been a better mother. Results are in. Is his mother right? Mike? <laughs>
my child's baby. I have grandma's intuition. If my mama tell me I need to get a DNA test, that's what I'm gonna do. I trust her, not your lying ass. Five of your friends and family told me to get a DNA test because I'm not forming these fathers. This is my baby boy and no bitch is gonna pin a baby on him. I know for a fact that you was having sex with other guys. One of the guys even looked like me. Veronica, today I'm gonna prove that I'm right and you're wrong. And when this test come back and say I'm not the father, you better stay the hell away from my family. All right, here they are, Mike and Shoot. I guess I didn't know her until Mike, you were with her. Yes, I was. Okay. So why is that uh, that not your granddaughter? First of all, Maury, I never seen this girl before until she brought the baby to me, talking about you want to watch your grandbaby. I don't know you. Who are you? Oh yeah, because that's him. He bring me around. That's his father. Well, I ain't got nothing to do with it. That sounds personal to me, Maury. That sounds personal to me because uh, I didn't know Sheila, nothing about her. I want to get her. into this. What, what does Grandma's intuition mean? Because I didn't. I don't feel a connection with this baby like I do with the rest of my grandkids. Oh, you have other grandkids. The baby don't have any of our features at all, like none of my grandkids. Okay, well then that's your baby. She look like you, that's your baby. Girl, shut up. Now you shut up. You got life messed up. We gonna see about this. Yeah, let's see. Let's get the results. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it then. Jill, were you actually holding the baby in one hand and calling my show? I had the baby in my lap when I called the Morby show. Maybe if you had been a better mother to him, She said if it wasn't for your mother, you'd be okay with this child. I mean, she was another doubt in my mind I see. that that helped out me feeling like that, yeah. But Can I show you some feet? <laughs> and your feet got to be Look at more that. My baby feet are just like yours. Don't even lie. Don't front. Yes, they do. Do they look like your son's feet? Yes. Not to me, they don't. And yes, what's feet got do. to do with it anyway, yeah, more? I don't know. Do. I ain't never heard of no stuff like that. Like his feet and her feet, that make him the daddy. I don't think so. It was like five, five people that I know, that she know, you know, and people was like telling me stuff on the slide. You know, I bump into so somebody. So you were getting it from your mother, you were getting it from your friends, and from all of this. From her friends. And, and this doubt stuff. My from friends. her friends. And Sheila. And I don't have a problem with it. My thing is, Maury, I want to know if that's my grandbaby. Well, we're gonna, I'm not going to do nothing. We're going to find out. We're going to find out right now. Where are you going? We're going to find out. When it comes to two-year-old harmony, Mike, you are not the father. I know this is difficult, okay? I know you didn't think this, okay? And we'll help you if you want us to help you to find the father. But the, he's not the father. You don't want to say anything to him? No. You don't want to say you're sorry or anything? That you were mistaken? Say. That you were mistaken? Yeah, I'm not to Not to Sheila either? Mm -mm. It, she ain't got to say nothing to me. I already knew. But she needs to apologize to him. She ain't got to apologize to me. Okay, Mike. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Okay, thank you. Frank has heard rumors that Brandy had sex with 18 different guys. <laughs> He's the father of that child. Yes. What about these 18 guys? I cheated on him. Say I cheated on him, but not with 18 guys. Is Frank the father? Frank. <laughs> you are not. <laughs> you won't believe what Delon did after the show. Get off my stage!
This is Frank and his mom, Julie. Three months ago, while Frank was at work, his ex-fiance, Brandy, took their nine-month-old daughter, Samantha, and left. And he hasn't seen them since. Now, here's the deal. Frank has heard rumors that Brandy had sex with 18 different guys <laughs> around the time she got pregnant. And now Frank and his mother, Julie, are desperate to find out if Samantha is his biological daughter. Watch. Four years ago, Frank and his mother, Julie, took Brandy into their home. When Brandy was 16, she came into my home. She had nothing. We treated her just like she was mine. During that time, Frank and Brandy fell in love. I love Brandy with everything. We moved out of my mom's house, we got engaged, and there was nothing I wouldn't do for that girl. When Brandy got pregnant, I was ecstatic. I was happy to be a father. But just three months ago, Frank's world came crashing down. Brandy took off, left my son Frank, left her family, and took Samantha with her, and it just tore her heart out. Samantha means the world to us. She's my only grandchild. Now I can't even see her. When Brandy left me, I found out she had sex with 18 different guys. And then she turned around and told me I might not be the father. I was pissed. It's so hard on us. We're devastated. I want to see three of us so bad. Guess what? Brandy's mad as heck. You know that? You know Why? she's mad? Why is she mad? She's mad, but you, you, you accusing her of sleeping with 18 guys. And she shouldn't have told everybody. She shouldn't have told everybody. And she what do you mean she told everybody? She told close personal friends me. Yeah. Of mine, yeah. and I had friends that came up to me, and then she did. Were you surprised when she left? Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, we were getting ready to plan the wedding. She oh, was yeah. supposed to come help take did you care kinda, of me. You took her under your own, or wing, didn't you? There, Julie. I mean, like. Yeah, a, a, I took her in when she had nowhere else to go. She lived with you. She lived yes. with us. I've done everything for her. I took care of her. You need to she stop your lying, because that ain't even right. All you did was whore it around, and your mom's a slut, too. Oh! I did take her into my home, and what she and did I to Frank respect that, but you don't need to be a psychotic bitch. Wrong. What she did to him is dead wrong, but I'll always care about her. Do you think you all look like that little girl? You know what, Murray? It's hard to say. I think oh, I do, yeah. and I'm hoping to be the man. Yeah. I, I hope she is my daughter. And I'll fight for her. And you know what? You even brought you even brought, brought her Christmas yeah, well, We got gifts. I got an Easter gift for her. I brought some but of her Christmas gifts. Well, guess what? She ain't accepted none of them. Oh, you haven't seen them. Oh. What? Oh. If that's your child, I will make sure that she gets your present. Oh, she is my child, man. All right, this is what Brandy had to say. Watch this. Frank, Julie, you act like you're so torn up about this. You don't care about me or my daughter. Frank, you turn into the biggest mama's boy. You disgust me. I cheated on you plenty of times in our relationship. That's because you're a damn loser. I am beyond positive that you are the father of Samantha. You were there for the first six months of your daughter's life, and now you want to punk out and be a deadbeat father all because your crazy mother's telling you to? Julie, you're a psychotic bitch. You've had it in for me since day one. Both y'all need to wipe your fake ass tears and help me with my daughter, because I'm not doing it no more by myself, not one more day. Wow. She walked out on them, but she's the one who's angry. I love it. Brandy, come on out. She might not be mine. I hope oh, she I is. Never said that. I'm getting her. Yeah. I mean yeah. Brandy, let's you and I talk, okay? He's the father of that child. Yes. Why'd you leave him? Because I was sick of the way his mom and him treated me. Are you me. with somebody else now? No, yes, and I'm happy. Real. And he treats me and you, like I'm And I'm by the way, to be. are you pregnant? Yes, I'm three months oh. pregnant. This is what I don't understand. You left, you took your baby, and you left, but then you wouldn't let him see the baby. Why? Okay, well, I talked to her. No, I never. I told him and his father that they could come see him. They just could not stay in the house, and they could That's not funny. take her nowhere. That's funny. And my that mom was funny. right there, well, and my uncle, and my if father. If they couldn't That's stay funny. in the house, and they couldn't take her anywhere, where were they supposed to see her? No, they couldn't stay in the house. What about these 18 guys? 
That's a damn lie. I've, I've cheated on him. Damn straight I cheated on him, but not with 18 guys. Like five. In five years. In five years. Five guys in five years. That's not many, right? No. No. That's not. And by the way, obviously, if that's your child, which you want to be, you'll take care of that child. Oh, yes. Yeah, because yes, if I he would have did that, he would have done did it a couple months ago. He didn't even call her for Christmas. Here we go. When it comes to nine-month-old Samantha, Frank, you are the father. Oh, I'm getting my baby back. She's coming home with me. She's coming. She is coming home. And you know what? She's coming home with me. She belongs with her father. Not a woman. She's coming. He's positive he's not the father because their sexual encounter lasted 90 seconds. Lori, tell him that he is the father. Tim, you. Oh my God. <laughs>
You play no, now. Your baby name, your baby name, Tila. Bring me out. Your baby, I don't want bring, bring me out. out. You put it on for the cameras. It's your turn to talk. Now she's all upset. Now it's your turn to talk. Why aren't you the father of this child? Man, look, I met her. Right. I didn't even know her name. My called me and said, hey, bro, you want to go over here and scoop out these girls? I'm like, yo, what's up? We go over there. We pick them up. We're going to get a one-bedroom hotel. Side by side. I was like, man, what's up? Oh, I don't want you to think I'm a free. Okay, then, well, by then, I put on my clothes and I'm out the door. She's still in there he putting on her lying. clothes while my in there doing you his give thing. Me my pants. Well, how? Give how? Me my how? Pants. how? Put it on, man. Well, she put it on, man. She's crazy, man. What's up? But you're going to take care of this child if it's yours. I, I take care of my other son. I wouldn't mind taking care of another one. But okay. if it ain't mine, Kid Ross. He's a cute, he's a cute man, kid. Whatever, man. He looks just like you. Yeah, okay. You know Guess what? 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 Yeah. 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 When it comes to two year old Keelan, Tim. Oh. It's the one night stand from hell. Is Tim the father? Tim, you. Oh my God! Are you, <laughs> you are the father. Get off my stage! Delon came to our show because his fiance confessed he might not be the birth father of their three-year-old son. Everything that young man is, is because of me. Delon, you are not. The results were heartbreaking, but what did Delon do after the show? He's my son and I'm gonna be there for him and his mother. No matter what happens, I'll always be there. Delon's attitude is truly an inspiration to us all. Until next time, America.